everyone. My name is Chen Liang Chai. I'm from Tsinghua University. My title of the talk is Crowdsourcing Based Data Extraction from Visualization Charts. Visualization charts are widely utilized for presenting structured data in different styles, such as line charts, pie charts, bar charts, and stacked bar charts. Under many circumstances, people want to explore the data in the charts collected from various sources, such as papers and websites, so as to further analyze the data and creating new charts. For example, as shown in the figure, the figure is used to visualize numbers of cross-sourcing papers at three leading DB conferences from 2015 to 2018. As the data scientists want to add the data of 2019, she needs to extract the data, add the data, and update the figure. Therefore, this work focuses on extracting structural data from visualization charts including the schema of the uh, table. Approaches with respect to data extraction from charts can be categorized into two groups. One is the automatic tools and the other is the semi-automatic tools. Some automatic frameworks only focus on extract uh, legend keys from charts. They generate edge maps, vectorize them, and utilize the rule-based method to extract keys from the line, bar, or pie charts. However, this works cannot obtain the numerical data in charts. Moreover, accurate edge maps are hard to retrieve from real-world charts because of large variance of charts quality. The other works propose a method that can handle bar charts or pie charts. However, they only achieve uh, 71 or and 64 accuracy on bar chart and pie chart respectively, and has many restrictions on styles of charts. For semi-automatic approaches, such as Webplot Digitizer, is a, which is a digitizing tool that extracts data from bar, line, or pie charts which has both automatic and manual mode. Since the automatic mode has a low accuracy because of a simple color detection algorithm, people always tend to use the manual mode to detect the values. In this mode, the user has to specify much necessary information such as the location of x axis, which is tedious and time consuming, especially for multi-series data. Similarly, and the other semi-automatic tools that require many manual operations of a user to extract. Moreover, these approaches always set many constraints like distinct color for each series of data, which limits the generalization. Therefore, we propose to use cross-sourcing to address this problem which is an effective approach to leverage human intelligence to do machine hard problems. To address the above limitations, we propose a crowdsourcing chart data extraction framework, CrowdChart, that harnesses the huge number of crowd workers on crowdsourcing platforms like Amazon Mechanical Turk to extract data from charts at a relatively low cost. We study the following research challenges that naturally arise in this framework. The first challenge is how to design cross-sourcing task. A straightforward method is to cross-source an entire chart and ask the worker to submit a relational table. Obviously, such task is too much overwhelming to workers who are usually good at macro tasks. To address the problem, we design an effective cross-sourcing task schema that splits a chart into a batch of macro tasks, each of which extracts a specific part of the chart. Then we can recover the relational table by aggregating crowd answers of these tasks. <coughs> the second challenge is quality control for cross-source chart data extraction. Although there exists some works on cross-sourcing in micro data, our scenario is more complicated. 
quality of a worker is hard to evaluate as it may not only depend on how careful the worker is, but also be affected by visual features of the charts, such as chart type, log skill vexes, even worse, misalignment is a kind of common errors, even for care careful workers, which can significantly influence the quality, which will be illustrated in detail next. The third challenge is how to reduce the cross-sourcing cost. To this end, we continuously evaluate the quality of tasks and introduce an early stopping strategy that determines terminates the task of which already have satisfactory inferred results. We first see how to design the cross-sourcing tasks. We introduce a fine grain approach that splits a chart into a batch of micro tasks to reduce latency and improve quality. Specifically, we design four types of cross-sourcing tasks that can be categorized into two groups. The pre-processing task and tuple extraction task, <coughs> as shown in the figure. The first, as quality of chart data extraction may depend on visual features of the chart. We define the following three types of pro processing tasks before extracting the data. The first one is the chart classification task. Intuitively, different types of charts have different difficulty, difficulty levels for data extraction, which motivates us to first ask the crowd for chart classification. Given a chart C, a chart classification task is a multi-choice question. Currently, we support four choices. Bar chart, line chart, pie chart, and stacked by chart, bar chart. And ask the crowd to choose the one that the chart C belongs to. The second one is a y axis classification task. Another factor affecting the difficulty is whether y axis is log scale. Thus, we also leverage the crowd to identify this issue as one of the pre processing steps. Given a chart C, y axis classification task is a yes or no question to the crowd. The third one is a legend identification task. Legend is also hard for machine to identify as it has different patterns, patterns and may be located arbitrarily in the chart. Given a chart C, the task is a fill in blanks question that asks the crowd to collect a sequence of legend keys. Then we come to the tuple extraction task, which is the central task for chart data extraction. Given a chart C, a sequence of legend keys and a label I in horizontal axis, the tuple extraction task is a fill in blast question that collects the S tuple. Note that the order of the sequence in collected tuples is consistent with that of pre-collected legend keys. The tuple extraction task is quite challenging because the workers are more error prone to provide noises answers. Thus, we study a truth inference problem defined as follows. The truth inference is defined as follows. For each point T i j, given the worker's answer set A i j, the truth inference problem is to compute a well estimated value T i j hat for true value T i j star. Different from multi-choice tasks, the answer of data extraction tasks are numerical values. For a numerical task, its quality depends on how close it is to the ground truth. Formally, we use AWI to denote a cycle of answers for data point in task TI by worker W. And we use the Gauss distribution to model each answer given by worker W. The distribution takes the ground truth TIG star as its mean and uses the variance to model worker quality. Where the phi W is a variance and the theta W is a standard deviation. Generally speaking, if W has a good quality, then the variance phi IG will be small because the answer is likely to be close to the ground truth TIG star. Motivated by this, we use QW to denote the quality of W and the minus ln qw to denote the ratio. Since the minus ln qw is a monotonous function when the qw is close to one, which indicates a high quality worker, 
the standard deviation CW is small because the minus ln QW is close to zero. And we also incorporate the difficulty of data into the <coughs> quality control. Here, the D is computed through the charge time, y axis, and legend numbers. Please refer to the paper for detail. And the other factor is the answer alignment, which is an important factor in the quality control of chart extraction. For example, uh, in, in that figure, a worker extracts the three data points, five, three, four in 2017 accurately. But she may align four to BLDB and three to SDE, leading to the alignment errors. Misalignment will, uh, will happen often when extracting data from charts because in many cases, the visual cycles of data points in the chart cannot match the cycles of these legends in the text region. This phenomenon cannot be navigated because it will influence both the worker's quality and the infer truth. For example, if the misaligned answers are directly used to compute the ground truth, we will derive a truth with high bias, which results in that the worker who answers that task is estimated as a low quality worker. To this end, we propose a probability based solution to align the answers. Then, given the worker model, we now focus on how to uh, infer the final truth. Uh, we conduct this using the uh, EM algorithm. So, in the E step of the EM algorithm, given the values of seed and the observation AIG, we compute the posterior probability of the hidden variable T star as following. So, in the M step, given the Estimate distribution of the truth TIJ star. We compute the optimal values for parameters Z so that the expectation of the drawing likelihood of the optimization. Then the, these two steps are conducted iteratively to compute the final answers. Then we focus on how to reduce the cost. For some tasks which have been answered by enough number of workers or a few high quality workers, they already have derived high confidence answers and such do not need to be cross-sourced anymore. This motivates us to design confidence aware early stopping for saving the cost. Given the truth distribution, TIJ star obtained through the truth inference algorithm. We can compute the confidence if we reg regard the new IJ as the answer. We adopt the one minus alpha confidence interval for the estimated truth, where one minus alpha, also known as the confidence level, is usually new to one, such as 90%, 95%. We will trust the answer to stop to that question with respect to the tax if it satisfies this equation. Then we can stop early to save the cost. And here, uh, here is the experiment. We use two data sites, two real data sites, and use the Amazon Mechanical Turk as our work cross sourcing platform. We can see that for cost, we can see from the figure that the crowd chart saves more than two times of cost compared with other state of the art works. We are achieving the same confidence level on the paper. They decide because we can stop early to save the cost. For quality, the, our method also outperforms the baseline a lot. The significant improvement of the crowd chart is attributed to the true inference techniques such as answer element and worker model. Thanks for listening.